what is good Tesla family it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I'm going to be talking about the one and only Tesla stock what you should be looking after for the future I'm also going to be doing some in-depth technical analysis and give you guys my price prediction for tomorrow based off what the trends are showing for Tesla based off the news and the overall market now before I say anything about Tesla though I gotta mention a couple of things real quick firstly I'm not a financial planner so don't take any of this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this not only benefits me but it's the entire tesla community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the weeble link down below and in the description if you sign up for weeble the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account you're guaranteed six free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars and you could always sell these six free stocks for cash and use that cash to buy some tesla shares for free in this limited time offer that ends in just two weeks so please check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at tesla we're down about 3.12 percent at least during the open hours on friday we ended up closing at an interesting number at 696 dollars and 69 cents but with all jokes aside we are also green in the after hours we're up about 1.91 percent which is a pretty good sign and considering that the spy is only up about 0.46 percent it does kind of give us this indicator that tesla may be outperforming the market for the next couple of days and one of the big reasons for that may be because of this right here as you guys may have already heard tesla announced their three for one stock split and this could be a pretty good catalyst for the future now remember guys that stock splits are not necessarily good fundamental moves or even bad moves they're just neutral right they don't really improve the fundamentals of a company but they are good in a way for price action of a stock because it opens more doors for more investors and makes options more affordable for maybe retail investors and it does incentivize people to even buy even more of these shares as they become more affordable now the thing about this is we're not necessarily splitting tomorrow or like super super soon it's going to take a little bit of time for this to really come into play because you have to remember that they still have to vote for this at the upcoming annual meeting so it's just a couple of months away so it's going to take a little bit of time and also we can see right here uh the automakers asking shareholders to approve the increasing of its common stock to six billion shares in order to enable the stock split now what this essentially means is when you increase the common stock that doesn't mean that all of these stocks or i'm sorry all these uh, shares are going to be traded on the lit market it's just how many of them do they issue and this is the max amount that they would be able to right now tesla has about 1 billion shares of common stock outstanding and it's authorized of about uh, 2 billion shares in total so that's what their total is they essentially want to triple it which in turn is going to lead to the uh, a three to one split and it's going to take a little bit of time for us to actually see this come into play now once again this is good i mean it wouldn't be great for people that want to sell covered calls that are trying to you know uh sell puts as well but in my opinion it a person could kind of make up for it by buying even more at a time but then the risk kind of could increase if that were to be the case but it's not necessarily a bad move in my opinion i think it's better for more bullish price action and if we do get that split you have to remember the way this works is let's just say tesla's at 600 bucks a share and they do a three for one split what this means is that instead of having one share let's just say i have one share for 600 dollars you're, I'm actually now going to have three shares, but they're all going to be worth $200, right? So I'm incentivized to buy more. People are going to be excited. And we have a forward looking stock market. The market looks at news for the future, they look at potential growth. And that's how we end up pricing in a lot of these moves. So, with that said, this could be a good move for the future considering the fact that a lot of investors are going to be excited. It's going to maybe lead to some FOMO. And this may lead to some bullish price action for tomorrow and for the next upcoming days now i would typically tell you guys that this would probably cause tesla to start running to the upside like crazy that's very possible if the market was bullish but right now the overall market is not very bullish in my opinion because we do have some things that are coming out that may lead to some choppy price action and the first thing is we have the ppi report of the producer price index coming out on tuesday and then if you look at the fed calendar we have between june 14th and the 15th the fomc meetings so the big day would be the 15th which is wednesday 
Wednesday, the Fed is going to announce their basis point rate hike again. And we're going to have to see because the market's going to be on the edge, especially when Jerome Powell starts speaking. So what does this mean for Tesla's share price? What does this mean for the overall market? And here's the answer. Right now, you know, anything is possible. And we may still respect a bit of a downward trend over the next like couple of weeks, but we may see some bullish price action to start off the week, in my opinion, because if you look at this from a technical perspective, Tesla kind of bounced off that 683 level, and we start to actually push a little bit up after that, especially considering that we're up in the after hours to exactly $700. Now, if you look at other indicators like the MACD and our RSI, and I bring up the two hour chart, which I typically like to do, you could see right over here, if we zoom in, We've been respecting a bit of a downward trend, but the the MACD, it's showing that the, the bearish momentum is kind of subsiding a bit because we're near this temporary bottom we were at. This means that Tesla might get a bit of a bounce, maybe push up just a little bit before we see more potential downside a little bit later. Now, RSI is at this low range at 41.6. I really like to see, I would like to see that increase. So right now, Tesla's kind of like in that range where it's a little bit too low. We have a bit of a gap that's up here. So I, I am aiming to see maybe a gap fill before more downside that follows. So I anticipate Tesla is most likely going to be outperforming the overall market for the next just couple of days until after the FOMC meeting. That's when things could really change depending on what under the Fed announces. So looking at the SPY, okay, the SPY also has this nice gap right up here. The SPY may end up push, pushing up to maybe like the low 400s before getting another rejection and continuing down because the sellers right? The bears are gaining a lot of control right now. We can actually see it in the volume. We can see that we're dropping on higher volume and the bears just keep on hammering us down. So with that said, what do I think Tesla is going to do? I do predict we're going to beat the overall market. So that means that if SPY is down like uh, let's just say SPY is up like 1%. Tesla could be up like 4 or 5%, for instance. But what I would anticipate is this for my price prediction. Let me bring up the five-minute candles. Let's talk about the key zones to be looking out for, then I'm going to give you my prediction. So here's, here's how this works, okay? If Tesla drops below 680, that's not going to be a good sign. We're very close to that key level of support and a more bearish possibility if this thing were to somehow take a big hit, which I doubt, but this is just the bearish possibility you should be prepared for. If this thing starts dropping, Tesla would drop to about 680. We need to hold 680. That's a very key zone. If we start dropping below that, there's a lot of room for us to drop to that 650 range. Okay. And then we could kind of trade sideways kind of like this. And this would be a more bearish possibility. I just think that this is less likely considering the news that the stock split came out. I'm sorry, the stock split, uh, they're working on it. It's not necessarily out just yet. Now, what would be a more bullish possibility? And that would be that Tesla starts to push up already. And we have that gap around that 720 range. We may actually fill this in just one day. And we might actually kind of push down, maybe continue to push up due to the stock split news. We might see a pretty decent day on Monday if it's this bullish, but I don't think it's going to be this bullish. This is just a really, really bullish possibility just to show you guys where key support and resistance levels are. And if we do start pushing up, just note that we have resistance at around 700. We're actually just barely there right now, but just in case we drop below it, and we could actually break that quite easily. We have stronger resistance around that 720 range, and if 720 kind of stops us, we'd probably drop. If we break 720, we'll go to 730, kind of trade in that channel, and the next key resistance level is that 750. But once again, like I said, I don't think we're going to go that high for Monday. Now, what is my actual prediction? What do I think is going to happen? Well, I think going into open, the market's going to push up a little bit. Tesla's going to push up as well. And Tesla might kind of peak around that 725 to maybe 730 range, kind of filling this gap right over here to the upside. And after that, I would expect maybe a bit of a bleed off going into the rest of the day. And we may see more choppy price action, perhaps around Tuesday slash Wednesday, but I don't think it's going to be as choppy for Monday. That's essentially what I'm predicting. We could close around that mid I would say maybe around 715, 720, we could close just around there, maybe a little bit higher if the stock split news does push us up, but I, but I am a little bit more in favor of Tesla closing in the green because of the news. But like I said before, the overall market will kind of dictate its price a bit. Now, if the SPY ends up dropping hard, it could cause Tesla to drop a little bit too, but 
I still think Tesla is going to hold its ground a lot better than the SPY and the overall market, thanks to the news. With that said and done, these are essentially what my predictions are. The stock split, once again, is not a fundamental improvement to the company, but it does open more doors. With that said, thank you for listening. Please enjoy the rest of your weekend. Get ready for Monday. And I really hope I brought some value into your guys' day. Thank you. Tesla to the moon. And peace out.